Texas is known for its courthouse architecture. All of the, uh, particularly back in the east and southern part of Texas, you go through, through these little towns, no bigger than Crosbyton, and they will have a big, beautiful, three or four story courthouse upstairs, every which way you go, no elevators. And uh, I have conducted court under the shade trees of many of those old courthouses because they were totally inaccessible. I've even conducted court because Goodwin couldn't get there. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, that's getting better. There, There is a courthouse at Waxahachie, Texas, that is a beautiful building. And it had been thought that ramping a place like that would ruin the architecture. But they did it. You drive up to the courthouse square, you don't see a ramp. They are hidden with bushes and uh, hedges, and they did not hurt the architecture of the building whatsoever. I even attempted to start a business uh, about the time that ADA came into, uh, became law, uh, where I would go to places, towns, cities, and tell them how to build ramps that would be usable and accessible. Uh, I never could get it off the ground at all. I even offered the city, of, uh, we lived in Idaho at that time, I even offered the city of Crosbyton, since it was my old hometown, to come and do all the planning free. And uh, they didn't even answer. They didn't answer my letter. <laughs> but uh, there, my main advice to people who uh, do not have a an evident uh, physical handicap, when they see someone who does, don't make any assumptions as to what they can do or what they cannot do. Uh, they might surprise you. <laughs>